you have this animal that comes in and may be changing people's lives forever and not great information and so it's kind of like throwing a match into that powder keg. In the last decade um, we've had seals that have returned after thousands of years away to the main Hawaiian Islands and so 20 years ago there was maybe 15 animals, 20 animals, and now there's 200 um, and still growing. The complication with that is that they're now you know, flipper to foot with all the humans that are down there. So we've had a pregnant uh, adult female that was shot. We've had uh, seals killed with you know, rocks to the head and, and clubbings and the like. And there's no doubt killings that are happening that we're not aware of. Those started happening relatively recently while these tensions were really starting to escalate. You know, there are people that are trying to make a living, people that are trying to bring food home to their families, and, and so there are some understandable concerns about what impacts monk seals might have on that. People worried about being able to develop industry because now there's seals around, and so all commercial tourism and businesses are going to be shut down. Is this making the, the fishermen mad? Are they going to kill all of the fish in this area? I guess if they take the fish, might as well kill them and eat them, you know what I mean? They're going to be there every time. They're going to be taking your fish all the time you set on net. And if you set the net and you catch one of them, you, you get in trouble. Instead of saying, oh, there's a monk seal, let's go, go look at the monk seal, you know. The story now is, oh, you know that monk seal, he came and he took the fish from my net and he's chasing away all the fish, you know. What's going on with this monk seal? So it's, it's more of a slightly negative relationship. Most of those people are just grabbing on to any source of information, and that's the best that they have right now. We've heard on the more extreme end, monk seals are eating 600 pounds of fish a day. So the largest monk seal you're ever going to see is 600 pounds. So uh, there's very few animals that eat their, their weight in, in fish in a day. So that, it's a physical impossibility. Um, but sitting across the table and telling someone that, uh, why should they believe me? I'm, I'm the government. We knew if we could show the truth through the SEAL's perspective, using National Geographic Critter Cams, that we could change people's minds. The Critter Cam is a tiny, waterproof instrument that you uh, put on the back of the SEAL or other animal that you're interested in that allows you to capture the hidden behaviors of the animal. Even though we only have collected 50 hours or so of footage, it's blowing a lot of these misconceptions that exist out of the water. We're seeing lots of fish being passed up. I mean, thousands of fish being passed up. The estimate of a monk seal eats 600 pounds of fish in a day, based on what we know about monk seals, that would require them to eat one, one pound fish every 45 seconds. And you will see 15, 20, 40 minutes go by before a monk seal eats anything. It's gonna be very easy for the naysayer to stand up and say, you're lying, you're only showing us the stuff that's favorable for seals. So this guy said, you wanna be transparent? Give the data to our students, give the data to our children, and let them see it, and let them study it, and then that way when you're at a public meeting and someone stands up and says, you're lying to us, um, so these kids, their own community, can send them and say, no, we watched this all and what they're showing you is really the most informative or the best stuff that there's out there. Some of them have become so fiercely passionate about this topic. Um, some of them are, are almost livid with the fact that there is this, these misunderstandings out there and they've gone out there and they've tried to get people to understand and they've talked to their family, they've gone out and interviewed the public to find out what misconceptions are out there. And it's really galvanizing, at least in the groups that we've worked with, this desire to protect and to share this information. Already with these discoveries, it's reining everybody in toward the center a little bit, you know, and, and it's hopefully going to shift some of the more extreme perspectives. I'm thinking this thing is going to work. You know, we've got some good scientists working on this thing and they're you know, they're determined to try and figure out how to work with their communities. It's a good thing, and it's the right thing. Oh yeah, I'm Charles, by the way. Yeah, Lionel. Nice to meet you. Our intent is not to make people love seals. What we're trying to do is get the truth out there. 
We are the people that are now here to try to go out and inspire people, to try to change people's minds, to have access to phenomenal technologies to solve mysteries um, that ultimately can mean life or death uh, for a species. It's nice to wake up in the morning and feel that what you're doing is going to be meaningful.